Thanks for choosing us. Now let's start from the central regional capital, Cape Coast, where two persons have sustained various degrees of injuries at the Congress grounds of the National Democratic Congress National Youth and Women's Organizers elections. My colleague Richard Kodriyank, who joins us live on the phone with details, let's understand what triggered the chaos that caused these injuries. Okay, so first, uh, I must say that the police here have had a, a tough time uh, separating the factions that are involved in this particular election. The first one started immediately after the first, um, uh, first exercise that was done. That was the addresses uh, that were given by the national chairman of the party, the regional chairman, and then the national youth organizer. And then the second process was about to begin. That was the election proper. And then chaos erupted. And so there were fisticuffs on the stage. It, it led to a holdup. And as we speak, elections are yet to be held. Now, in the course of events, then, there were gunshots that were heard outside the main auditorium, outside the uh, new examination center, that is the event venue. And then when we rushed there, we saw two people that were in a pool of blood. Um, according to uh, the eyewitnesses and the police that we spoke to, uh, these were members of the, uh, the two factions, the National Youth Organizer, I mean, um, the Georgia Pariado faction, and then uh, the other contender, Pujajin faction as well. And so uh, they brought the ambulance and then they put the two of them together and then they rushed them to the hospital. We were told that it was as a result of them using chairs and other implements available there to hit themselves. And so we are even told that two more people also sustained some injuries, but their injuries were not as the two of them that were sent to the University of Cape Coast Hospital. And so that is the situation here. Elections are yet to be uh, done. The Electoral Commission, um, they have set up, everything was done around 2 p.m. and they were, they, they were waiting for the, the elections to be um, to be done, but the elections are yet to be done. We heard of injunctions uh, that were on some constituencies, and then the National um, Local uh, Organizing Committee came to address the media, saying that all outstanding issues have been resolved, and in the next 30 minutes, elections will start. We waited for the next 30 minutes, elections did not start. Interesting. Now, what becomes of the election moving forward? You've been engaging leadership of the party. What have they been saying? They say that at all costs, the elections would have to be conducted. People have traveled from all corners of the country just to vote for the national youth organizer, uh, the national women organizer, and then the other aspirants that are contesting the deputy positions. And so at all costs, they will clear all headers. So if it means that they have to even live beyond midnight, they would have to ensure that the elections would be conducted. In fact, some people have already left, but there are a lot of them that are also waiting. They want to see to the end of this exercise. Well, there are also concerns about security moving forward if they plan to conduct the election today. What's the plan? Are they getting reinforcement for, from the police? Yes. At the moment, um, there have been reinforcements. In fact, um, the police in their numbers uh, they are bringing more men to augment those that have been here for the entire day. They've been even changing the people that came, and so they have been replacing the police, uh, the security team that was here in the morning. And so uh, as for the security concerns, I can tell you that they've been on top of their game, both outside the, uh, the new examination center and inside the new examination center, just that it is a matter of election, and so... Uh, there are surprises that are, uh, that are sprung on them each time, but in each of the times they manage to bring the situations under control. In the case of the clubbing that led to the injuries of the people, in fact, the police had to fire the warning shot before they brought the situation under control. Thank you very much. Richard Kojinyaku is our correspondent in the central region. He's been giving us um, updates on the NDC's national youth and women's organizers election what will we'll be keeping an eye on that election process which they say will still commence today